Okay, this is question three for HL, four for SL. So in a school, 70% of students do or play sport, 20% do theater, 18% do neither. A student is selected at random, find the probability that dot, dot, dot. Okay, before I do the question or even read the question, I'm gonna draw a Venn diagram. So I'm just gonna do it up here. Um, so I have enough space to do all these questions, but obviously you do it um, in the box provided. So here I have, do that again. This is sport, theater. So I have sport, theater, and I do want to put a box around the whole thing. Like this. So 70% to sport. Common mistake is to just put 0 0.7 there. You can't do that because you don't know if someone goes here as well that has to be part of the 0 0.7 so I can't put 0 0.7 there similarly I can't put 0 0.2 anywhere but 18% do neither I can put that into here so 0 0.18 goes there they do neither now find the probability that, that, that the student plays a sport and does theater so they're asking us to find this this for, as part of the first question, but I, to fill out my Venn diagram, I know I need to find that anyway. Now, how do I find that? Well, I want to look at combined events. Now, another very common mistake I see is that people see this, they go, the probability of A intersection B. So A and B both happening is the probability of A times the probability of B, and they just multiply them together. That's true only if they are independent events. That's why this is written here. For independent events, this works. But if it's not independent events, or if you don't know if it's independent events, we use this, combined events. It's the um, A union B is the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A intersection B. Okay, so let me write that out here. The probability of A union B is equal to the probability of A plus in fact, hang on guys, I'm going to write that down here as part, uh, as part of my answer to, to A. So A is the probability of A union B is equal to, and actually why don't we go with S and T. So the probability of S union T is equal to the probability of S plus the probability of T minus the probability of S intersection T. This I know, union T, right? So union T is either of them, either of them happening. But I know 0 0.18 is neither do sport or theater. So if 0.18% or 18% of students don't do sport or theater, what percentage of, of students do at least one of them? Well, it's one minus this. So this has to be 0 0.82 probability of S, sport, we have it, it's 0 0.7. Probability of theater, we also have that, it's 0 0.2. And then this is the thing that I don't have, S intersection T. Mm. So I can just kind of, well, I just add this to the other side and I get um, probability of S intersection T and then I'm going to subtract this from this side. So it's 0 0.7 plus 0 0.2, which is 0 0.9, minus 0 0.82 equals 0 0.08. So this now goes in here, 0 0.08. And once I have this, I can fill in the rest. So 70% do sport. So this has to be 0 0.62, because this plus this gives me 0 0.7. And this has to be 0 0.12, because this plus this gives me my... 0 0.2. Find the probability that, part B, find the probability that the student does theater but not sport. So theater but not sport, it's that. It's 0 0.12. And if you have the Venn diagram drawn, you don't have to show any more working. So um, uh, theater but no sport. You can just write down 0, you can just write down 0 0.12, but it's theater, if you just want to know how to write it, it's theater and not sport. This is equal to 0 
Okay, those two hopefully fairly straightforward. Second bit gets a little bit tricky. It says, at the school, 48% of students are girls and 25% of the students do theatre. A student is selected at random. Let G be the event that the student is a girl and let T be the event that the student does theatre. Find G intersection T, right? What I want to do here is draw a tree diagram. Okay, a tree diagram because we're going to be going into um, kind of um, consecutive events. Or I want, I'm going to see the probability that it's a girl and then the probability that they do theater. So we're going to start here. We're going to have a, the probability that it's a girl. Oops, girl, boy. If it's a girl, theater, um, not theater. Now, I don't know if I even need to fill that out yet. Um, so let's just stick with this. Girl is the probability that the student is a girl is 0 0.48. Of the girls, 25%, hang on, 25% of the girls do theater. So that's 0 0.2. 5% of the girls do theatre. Um, so that uh, of the girls that don't do theatre, it's this has to be 0 0.75. Okay, so part C. I have this, this is my tree diagram done. I'm not going to fill out the rest just because it's focusing on girls and theatre. The probability of girls and theatre is, so this is the probability that it's a girl and they do theatre, using our Venn diagram, it's just 0 0.48 times 0 0.25, which is, I don't even need my calculator, because it's a quarter of 0 0.48, which is 0 0.12. Last question, part D, it says, determine if the events, if the events G and T are independent, justify your answer. So, if they are independent, so go back to this formula that I said, guys, here. If they're independent, the probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B. So let's write that. If in dep if independent, the probability of, hang on, it's the probability of girl, yeah, let me write this underneath, the probability that it's a girl and theatre is equal to the probability it's a girl times the probability that the student does theatre. Now, this is confusing because you've already done this. You've done the probability of a girl and theatre and it's this times this. But this isn't this isn't the probability that is a student taken at random does theater. That's the percentage of girls that do theater. So the probability of a student doing theater is, is this. It's still the, the 0 0.2. So I'm going to do, um, I'm going to find the, prob the probability of G times the probability of T is the probability it's a girl which is 0 0.48, times the probability they do theater, which is times 0 0.2, and this is equal to 0 0.48. Let me just do this with my calculator. I probably should know the answer to this, but let's just be safe. 0 0.48 times 0 0.2 is 0 0.096, that sounds uh, correct, yes. So it's 0 0.096, which is 0 0.096. Now, clearly, this 0 0.096 is not equal to this. So I'm going to say, because this is my justifying my answer, 0 0.96 is not, 0 0.096 is not equal to 0 0.12. Therefore, 
um, the probability of g times the probability of t is not equal to the probability of g intersection t, therefore not independent. So I've stated it at the end, but I've, I've justified it here because I have shown that this formula um, is not satisfied or does not work. Okay, hopefully that makes sense, guys. I, I think the main kind of tricky bit to note is that this 0 0.25 is not the probability that a, a student does theatre, it's the prob probability that a girl does theatre, which is why I drew the tree diagram. Okay, I'll see you for the next question.